Hi everyone, it's Dawn from Crafting on the Green. I hope you're well. Today I wanted to show you how to make a really cute table setting for Christmas or for any time of year. Um, but I'm specifically going to focus on Christmas as it is getting to that time of year. I'm going to use the stamp set Penguin Place that also comes with the punch. Um, it's a very cute set, lots of fun things that you can make. So um, yeah, so I'm going to make a placemat, a coaster, a little name tag, cutlery holder and then here is a napkin ring as well so i thought i'd just show you how to make these they're super quick and you can be as inventive as you want to um so i'm going to start by doing the placemat which so i promise you it's all super super quick so to start with you want uh, an a4 sheet here of cardstock i've gone for cherry cobbler um so i have that and then you want to get a piece of uh, A4 Whisper White, and we're just gonna cut this down to size, which, okay. So we're gonna cut this to six by eight. So we'll do six. You can get, um, you can almost get two out of one sheet, but the second one will be a bit smaller. Um, but out of the whole project, you can use that on something else. So what we want to do is just stamp our scene on here. Um, and so I'm going to start by using soft sea foam. Um, and I'm just going to stamp a couple of hills using using this curvy curvy shape here. So you can stamp them wherever you fancy or however you fancy. I'm gonna turn it around so that then I can kind of have a, something like that. I didn't press that very well there, but that's okay, because I'm actually gonna paint over it in a minute. <laughs> so we'll use soft sea foam for that. And then I'm going to use shaded spruce and I'm going to stamp some trees on the background. So again, you can do this however you fancy, but I am just going to do a couple of first and second generation stamping. And we'll pop some down here as well. Okay, so you can choose to add more or less as you go along. Then I want to add in my penguins. So um, because it's a placemat, I'm not going to add anything 3D onto this. I just want it to be um, just to be 2D. Because obviously if you're going to be balancing your Christmas dinner full of gravy on there, you don't really want it to be uh, all over the place. <laughs> right, so make sure we've got a lot of ink on there. And pop this penguin about here and then I've got the penguin that's laying down as well and I'm going to put him so he looks like he's going down the slope just like that so now we're going to add in some noses and feet and I'm going to use mango melody so it's a lovely lovely bright color so you get a single foot which I'm going to add here to make it look like he's, um, I'm just going to cover the end up so it just, just comes off. So it just looks like he's got his feet hanging out there. And then you get another stamp that's got two feet on it. So I'm going to use this for the standing up penguin. There we go, something like that. And then the noses, so you've got two noses, you've got one for this little chap here. Oh, a bit wonky, but I usually am a little bit wonky. And then you've got another one that's perfect for this guy here. So, so as you see, I'm building up a nice pretty scene here. Um, I'm just gonna add on a hat and a bow tie for this chappy here. Um, so I'm gonna do that in balmy blue got them matching so keep his head warm yep 
in the stamp set you do also have a scarf and some reindeer antlers and a little red nose so you, you know you can go with any design at all um, and then I'm just going to finish it off actually I'm going to do it in balmy blue as well so I've got one of the greetings here that says be cool be chill be merry so I'm just going to stamp that at the bottom there we go so I'm not going to go overboard because this is you know you can design it however you want to it's it's totally up to you um, but what I am going to do I'm going to bring out my manky paintbrush that's uh, not very clean anymore and I've got, I've got here some gold gold all-purpose ink as well and all I'm going to do and take it from the lid because we don't want too much I'm just going to add a couple of highlights going along the the slopey bits just to give it a little bit of Christmas shimmer really so there's lots that you can do in the stamp set you've also got some snowflakes so you could add lots of snowflakes in the sky um, You've got presents, you've got balloon. There's so many things you can play with. Now bear in mind, if you are using um, some paint like this, it does take a little while to dry. So you want to make sure that once you've stuck it all together that you just be wary and don't put anything on top of it for a little while. Um, so I'm gonna leave that as is, but what I'm just gonna do is stick this onto here. Now I'm not going to lay it straight flat because obviously I've just covered it in, in gold. So I'm just going to take my glue and I'm just going to hold it when I do this bit. You can obviously stick it on first if you find that easier. Okay. And then we want to go roughly in the centre. And if you want you can obviously put people's names on this. Um, but we are going to make a little name tag in a moment. Um, or you could always use a completely different um, stamp set and maybe make one for the children to colour in. Um, but how cool is that? You've now got a placemat for your Christmas dinner. Um, I do like to add a bit of a handmade touch to my, my Christmassy <laughs> Christmas dinners. So here I've got a coaster. Um, it's a very, very similar thing that we're going to do. So I'm going to start with some cherry cobbler and I'm going to cut this down to three and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. Okay and then I'm going to grab some basic white again and I'm going to cut this down to three by three. Again, I'm going to decorate on my basic white piece so I'm going to bring back in the soft sea foam and I'm just going to add a, a bit of a curve I think we'll do something like this um, so obviously you can make them all different and you can make them for um, you can personalize them as much as you want to um yeah you can do quite a lot with these um but i think it makes such a personal touch on the on the dinner table when people come in and they see all of this i think it's just going to be fantastic right i'm adding a penguin there um and then i'm going to add in some trees Got so many stamps out all over my desk full of this set, it's wonderful. There we go, might add just one more on there. I have to excuse my stamping today. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible so that you're not, not watching for hours on end. <laughs> um, right, so we need Mango Melody again, just to add some feet and a nose. Where did I put my two feet? There we go. And again, I'm just going to bring back in this scrap piece of 
card. And we'll just pop his feet on there. And his nose, which is that one there. That's a bit better. Um, and then I want to give him some antlers as well. Because why not? <clears throat> he can wear some antlers because it's Christmas. Um, so there they are. So I'm just going to do this in soft suede. Um, we'll aim somewhere for the top of his head. So you do have, um, as I say, you do have a, a circle stamp here, like a red nose. Um, so obviously if you wanted to make him look a little bit more like Rudolph, you can give him a red nose. Um, and then finally, I'm going to finish off by using um, some snowflakes. Let's just pop that on a block. And I'm just going to stamp all over. And I'm doing first and second generation again. The second generation are quite pale, but that's absolutely fine. It just kind of gives a bit of a, you know, a bit of something. So now we've got it all snowy. And then I'm going to stick this straight onto there. Just like this. And now you have a coaster to match your placemat. Um, if you wish, so as I've done on this one, I brought back in the gold paint and I went over the um, the hill again and I also added a lot of gold dots around the outside. So, um, yeah, so you can kind of do exactly what you want with it, uh, but the option's there. So that's how we made that one. Now I'm going to move on to the name tag. If you've got quite a few guests coming, it's nice to have name tags on your table. Um, so for this one, I have a piece of basic white and I'm going to stamp my penguin onto that. Um, I'll find my black ink. Never know how. You put something down and then two seconds later, you just cannot find it. <laughs> so I'm going to stamp him on here. And then I'm going to bring back in the mango melody for his nose. to fussy cut this one out thankfully it's not got any weird shapes in here and it's not too fiddly Now we've got that, I was also going to punch out some trees. Um, so here's my Christmas tree punch and I have got some shaded spruce. I love shaded spruce at Christmas time, it's such a Christmassy green. And I've also got some old olive, which seems to go with it really well. So I've got a couple of pieces here. Um, and then I just want to cut out, <coughs> excuse me, I want to cut out a piece of basic white and we want it to be three and a half inches. By just one inch. So that's going to be our bit to write the name on. Um, and obviously we need to cut out the piece for our name tag. Is this piece going to be long enough? I don't think it will. No. Always the way. Right, so we want this piece to be five inches by four inches. And then on the four inch side, I'm just going to score at two. All the way down. So that makes our fold. And now we just need to put it all together. 
Um, so I'm going to start by sticking down the basic white somewhere in the middle. And it doesn't matter too much if it's not particularly straight because we're going to be sticking other bits on. And you can obviously embellish this as you fancy. You can make it 3D if you want to. Um, it is completely up to you how you decorate these. I am just here to try and give you some ideas. So pop the tree about there. If it's going to poke over the top, like this one, make sure you've not glued it. Because um, if you have, obviously, it's not going to fold. <laughs> and then I'll pop on the other tree. There you go. So again, if you choose, you can add some gold dots. Um, I think it's fun if you're going to do it all over it with the placemat, the coaster, you know, cover it or not. So that's what they both look like. But that's really quick, as you see. It's... um. It's nice, it's quick. Again, you can decorate it as you wish. Next, we've got a cutlery holder. So this is, not that I've got any cutlery to hand, but it's a pocket so you can tuck your cutlery into the pocket or have it as a scissor holder afterwards. <laughs> so what we wanna do for this is we need another sheet of A4 Cherry Cobbler. And we're gonna cut this to, we're gonna cut it in half lengthways. So it should be four and one eighth. So you can get two from one sheet of A4. And then what we wanna do, we're just gonna score with the long side at the top, move the blade out of the way. I'm gonna score at four inches, just like this. So what we're going to do, that's going to be folded over like this to make our pocket. I'm just going to go over it with the bone folder just to make it nice and crisp at the bottom. Um, so yeah, we're going to fold it over, that makes our pocket. So I'm just going to add a touch of glue just down both sides. I'm not obviously going to go across the top because otherwise we won't have a pocket. And um, we'll just pop that on there like this. Um, when you stick it down, I don't know if you can quite see, but I'm just pushing down, but I'm also pushing inwards slightly. So it's kind of making just a little bit of a, an arch in the middle. Um, I'm just doing that so it's a little bit easier to get your cutlery in once you're finished decorating. Now, I'm gonna grab a basic black Stampin' Right marker. And around the outside, I'm just going to do like a stitch design. And you know what? It doesn't have to be neat, pretty, same length. You can just do little dashes. And I think it looks absolutely fine. You can add lots of wavy, wobbly bits as well if you like. Um, I don't know if you can see okay, my lamp seems to be creating quite a shadow. Um, but that's the fun of uh, winter drawing in, the nights get, <laughs> get a lot, a lot longer, don't they? Um, right, so now we've drawn around the outside, we're just going to make a little something to decorate on the inside. So we'll pop that over there, bring back in the trimmer, and I've got a piece of DSP. This came from the Celebration. Um, and so you can't buy this DSP, but this was a Penguin Playmates um, DSP. It's very cute. But obviously you can use any DSP at all that you want to. Um, so I'm going to cut this to three and a half by three and a half. Just like that. And we will get that stuck down. You can obviously use the prettier side if you want to have characters on it. Um, I found it's harder to decorate when you've got characters in the background because I don't want to cover any of them up. <laughs> so we're just going to stick that straight on there like that. 
Now I want another tree. So I'll bring back in my shaded spruce. And we'll just punch that out like that. And for this one, we're going to need, we're going to punch our penguin. So there it is. Put some white down earlier. And naturally, I put my black away, but we do need some black as well. So yes, to punch out your penguin, you need black, white, and I'm using Mango Melody because I think it's, I just love that colour for the feet. So you've got three different sizes here. This one's going to be black, this one white, and this one will be the Mango Melody. So rather than putting it through the whole thing, you can kind of angle it a bit. So although I'm going to catch a bit of his foot as well, the main bit it's cutting out is his body. And then the same again for the white. You can try and angle it so that you don't catch any of the other shapes and then it will just cut out the one. Um, and then for the feet, we need two. So, one, two. All right, now we can build our penguin. So when you've got the shape here, obviously he doesn't have any eyes, so we wanna give him some eyes. So I'm gonna bring back in my black ink. You've got some stamps here um, for his eyes. I'm just going to pop that about there. And then I also want to do his nose again. Um, so Mango Melody wants more. <clears throat> and that nose. Somewhere about there. And again, if you want to, you can add bow ties or you know anything like that. Um, now we're just going to stick him together. Oh, I've left the top off my glue for too long; it starts to seal itself. And we just stick that straight on there. And then with the feet, you can either choose to stick them on front or behind. Um, what I'll do, I'll put them on front because then I can show you the difference. So, just a touch of glue. For this I'm going to use tweezers because it just does make it a bit easier. Um, I'm not very good with really fiddly things. So. so, there we go. So that's when it's on the front. And obviously this is one I did earlier with the feet on the back. So you can, you know, have a play and choose. Completely up to you. Um, and I've also got here a piece of ribbon. Uh, this is the black organdy, I think, um, which you can get from Stampin' Up, which is lovely. Um, so we just want a couple of strips to go across it. <clears throat> um, now for this, I'm just going to pop these down with some tear and tape, if I can find the end. Pop a bit on there and a bit on there. If I can get those off, there we go. So again, you can use any ribbon that you have or choose not to use ribbon at all. I just thought it gave it a little bit of something extra. Oh. There we go. And it will be a tiny bit sticky through the ribbon um because obviously the ribbon is uh what's the word is it sheer it's it's you know so if you used glue it would come straight through which is why i've gone for the the tape um but now we're going to cover that up anyway because i'm going to use some dimensions pop a couple on the back of that i'm just going to put the one on for the tree <clears throat> right Put the tree on first, about there. And then the penguin on about there. Um, so the only difference is really on this one I've added some rhinestones, whereas obviously on this one I haven't yet. Um, but again, the choice is yours. Add as many embellishments as you want. I haven't decorated the back because obviously once you've got your cutlery inside, um, you're not really going to see the back anyway. So yeah um, but that is our cutlery holder 
So I think the last thing for this is our napkin ring. Um, <laughs> it's slightly a bit crushed now, this one. I've, uh, I've been moving around a lot. So what we need for this one, the instructions, we just need a strip of cherry cobbler. It's going to be, that's long enough. <coughs> we want this to be six inches by one and a half. So six inches by one and a half. Okay. So there we go. Um, so what all we're basically going to do is you might find it easier if you have something to curve it around. Um, the only round thing I have in my desk is a bottle of wine. I'm not planning on drinking this. This is for decorating purposes. But it just helps get a curve if you've got something to wrap it around. Um, just something like that. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter what it is, but it just helps so that when we go to fold it, it's now not squished like my squished one is. Um, so I'm just going to stick that together. I'm just going to use some tape again. Uh, if I can find the end again. There it is. Now I'm going to pop two bits of tape on just because I don't want it to come apart if I can help it. Just like that. Isn't this adorable? Can you just imagine on Christmas Day when your guests come to see you and you've decorated the whole table? Um, and so, like I say, you can personalise it using the name tags. Um, I've got videos on here um, of making crackers and different favours and gift bags. So, you know, you could have a little treat on everybody's table setting. Um, so much that you can do. Um, Right, I have a piece of ribbon here. It's going to be way too long, but that's fine. So I'm just going to chop that about there. And I'm going to, again, use some tape and just get this stuck all the way around it. So we've got a little bit of glitz. Um, about that. Um, and you may find it easier <laughs> once it stops sticking to you um, just to roll it around now because my join is here and I'm going to end up covering this join with the penguin I'm going to start one of the ends at this join roughly and then I'm just going to roll it um, I've made that a little bit too long, but it's fine because I can trim it again. Now it's got the glue on it, it's a bit harder to cut through, but okay. So now we have a, a pretty little napkin ring and the only thing that's really missing is the penguin on the front. So for this one, I stamped and punched him out, um, but I think I'm just going to do the same as before. Um, oh, we want two feet. We need a white one. And a black one. little bits of confetti. So again I'm going to stamp his eyes and his nose. Where did I put his nose this time? There we go. If you find it's getting a bit too inky just stamp it off to clean it off and then start again. Um, I do find sometimes it can just look a bit a bit too much when it's been collecting too much ink and then drying and then you're putting it on top. So every now and again I will just stamp off. 
Right, so let's glue him together. Okay. And this time I'm going to pop the feet underneath just so I can show you how I do that. So again, you just want a tiny bit of glue at the end of the feet like this. Now I try and line them up so that they're quite straight. I use the grid paper for that. And then I just lay my penguin over the top, just like that. And then it's up to you if you want to use dimensionals or glue or how you want to stick him on. Um, oh, it looks like his foot's come off. Let's put that back on there again. And I'm just going to pop some glue straight down the middle. And then I'm going to cover the joins. Oh got glue everywhere now that foot's gone monkey but yeah so I'm just gonna stick that straight on there I'm gonna hold it for a moment because obviously it's, it's sticking onto ribbon and card um, and it's round so there's not not a lot for it to glue on to um, but once it's taken it should have taken and there we go so you can see the difference this is my stamped one that I cut out in with the punch and this is obviously the one that I punched out from the black card um, so you can see the slight differences in them um, but yes yeah, so I know you've got napkin rings as well um, so that's our table set so again we've got our placemat we've got our cutlery holder we have got a coaster somewhere there it is um, the one we did today and then we've got our name tag and we've got our napkin ring so there you go. Like I say, how wow is that? And you can just imagine having it really set up on Christmas Day. Um, yeah, I think it's absolutely, it's a really fun setting. Um, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. I know this video is a little bit longer than usual, but I really hope you give it a go. Try all different stamp sets, different DSPs, different colours, um, and uh, I'd love to see some pictures. So please feel free to send them over to me. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Crafting on the Green. Thanks very much. Follow me if you would like to see more and I hope to see you soon. Take care.